Yo guys, what's going on? Be a Viking here. We are here on Dawnbreaker. Team Deathmatch, 24 players. We're going to be doing a challenge today. 44 Magnum only. I can't put attachments on this thing, but who puts attachments on this beautiful gun? Anyways, it, it's just such a nice looking gun. I don't want to ruin the beauty of it. No camos. Just keep this thing stuck. Absolutely amazing gun. Hope you guys have been having an awesome day so far. You know, we are going to try and kick some ass Clint Eastwood style with the 44. Now, this thing does have horrible hip fire. Okay, okay. There we go. There's one down. Oh, wait. Hold up. We got guys out here. Hopefully, they don't come around. I mean, this thing is a one-shot headshot, I'm led to believe. Oh. Oh, there we go. Man, this thing just... The recoil of this thing, you know, just uh, hearing this thing is just amazing, the sound of it, and then getting that kill. Oh, okay, hold on, we got one. We got one here. There we go. Outplayed, boy. Oh, <laughs> from behind. I probably would have got that guy as well. Okay. Now the reason I went the, with the recon class is just so I can get access to the motion sensor, which is pretty good if we're in a tricky situation, just so we can be alerted of the enemy's locations. Now I could put on a three times scope on this one, Battlefield Veterans, get that. Oh my god, I w oh come on, I don't think I was even standing still that one time, I should have had him suppressed, it's all good though. We can spawn back in pretty quick. Let's go. One thing I rather about BF1 is the uh, nearby medics feature. That is... Whoa, don't kill me already, dude. Put that there. Make sure I don't get a kill with the L96. That would be cheating. Not that I'm cheating anybody. It's just, you know. Oh, my God. We got killed again. Oh, my God. Level 10. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. I suppose it is kind of hard to get kills with the 44, you know, when you're running around, but... Oh, damn it. We just need to be careful. I mean, that was a horrible spawn, the one we just got right now. That's pretty bad. There's a guy out here. Let's see if we can go back. Back this way. Just be careful. I mean, just... It is such a beastly gun. Absolutely love it. I mean, I hate when I see people running with the... Hey, when I see people running with it with, like, laser sights and stuff on it, it's just... It's just not right. What was that three-shot kill? What was that? Get out of here! Whoa! <laughs> oh, man. Outgunned with a 44. You're at a high rate of fire SMG. How does it feel? Man, I feel like an absolute knob for that. Kill assist. There we go. There's another one around the flank here, boys. You only got six shots with it. So you gotta... You gotta make them count. Whoa! You gotta make them count. <laughs> oh, man. This is a fun challenge. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we got a res and everything. Oh, dude. Sweet. Whoa. Let's get out. Oh, I was out of ammo anyways. If I... That would have been cool if I got the shot on with the M96. Okay, this isn't a bad spawn here. Okay, we just need to be careful. I'm not going to actually use the M96. I'm just using the scope. So if you see me take it out, don't worry. I'm not trying to kill anybody. I'm just using the uh, that high-power optic to uh, get an insight where the enemies are. Now, I'm not going to run across there. I'm going to make use of this little ditch. There's enemies up there. So we're going to sneak around here, hopefully. You no, know, it's just my luck that someone would come around here with an AEK. Luckily, that's not going to happen right now, though. That's a tip I always recommend you guys do when you're on Dawnbreaker, is always go into that little corner, jump up and see if you can... Whoa. There we go. Teabag him. Alright, we're not doing so bad. 9 and 4 with a 44. This is probably one of my favorite guns, not just in BF4, but in real life. It's just such a... Oh, except in real life, it's not just called a 44 Magnum, it's called a 357. 
such a nice gun. I always can never decide between this or the 1911, but in the end, you know, I actually still can't decide. They're just two beautiful guns. And can we... You run away from me! Oh, one HP! God damn it! One HP. Assist counts as kill. Can we put this on? I think we can. Oh, man. That is frustrating. One HP. We did get the assist counts as kill, though. Looks like my battery level is low. And it looks like I don't care. Um, okay. I mean, in BF3, this the Magnum was a lot better because you didn't get that trigger delay. Oh, my God. What is this spawn? Okay, let's get back. We're gonna lose. Oh, we're gonna lose. God damn it. Don't let them kill four more of us. Oh, we'll make that three. There we go. We got the kill assist on him. He's gonna rush, man. He's gonna rush. Oh, behind us. Oh, my God. I was last kill as well. Did you just get a kill with the frag, though? That was, that was pretty cool. That was a pretty short game right there. That was only six minutes in around there. Not too, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see what we did here. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that was a fun little challenge. I did die some stupid times, bad spawns and all that. But if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next Battlefield video.